Sean Setemangali here, the Reverend of the Revolution, welcome to another edition of your Daily Revolution. Today's topic, life sucks because you do. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I hear it so often. Setema, I'm serious. I've got to change my life. I want to make more money. I'm so tired of being where I am. Sound familiar? Perhaps you know people that do the same thing. I'm really ready to change my world. I'm really ready to have a greater marriage. I really want to lose some LBs. I want a six pack. I want to be leaner. I want to look better in a bikini. I want to be happier. I want, I want, I want. And the, the list goes on. I hear this often. But you know why life doesn't work for people? You know why life kind of sucks for people? And why life might suck for you right now? And suck is a relative term. So let me give you some definition of what it means to suck. It means that it's not working, you're not getting what you want, you're not happy, you're unfulfilled, you know that you are capable of so much more. That's what it means when I say life sucks. And let's be real, man, there was a time in my life when I was 335 pounds and life sucked. I hated it. There was a time when I was making incredible money and life still sucked because I was making money in a thing that I was not happy in. So it's very relative. You don't have to be on the bottom. You could be making incredible money right now. You could have an amazing marriage, but in another part of your life, it could still kind of, well, suck. Not be the thing that you want. Not give you the fulfillment and the meaning and the purpose and the pizzazz and passion that you desire to have. So let's talk about this. Why does it suck? Simply because you suck. You suck. Businesses don't suck. You suck. Economies don't suck. You suck. Your marriage isn't like a sucking thing. I don't even know. It's probably not the best verbiage to use there. But that's your marriage doesn't suck. You suck. You have failed to become the person who can handle the capacity, handle the workload, and handle the threshold of pain that's required to level up. Just talking to a gentleman this morning, and he was giving me the sob story. Sob story, and I just listened. I did no judgment, I just listened. That's what I do, it's who I am. And he went on to tell me how it's so hard to pay this, and it's so hard to do this, and he doesn't understand, and I'm like, dude, you are a single dude with no family, with no wife, with no kids. What is your problem? And it's like society has turned men into weak people. Weak people, not strong, weak. No grit, weak. No strength, pathetic. Now, if this message is resonating with you at all and your life sucks right now, like it sucks, you're not happy, you're not where you want to be, you're in your mid 40s, you're in your mid 50s, and you're like, how in the hell did I get here? How in the world is this possible? You might even be living in a big house with fancy new cars. You might be flying on jets. You might be putting out to Instagram and the world how awesome your life is. While deep down inside, you are rotting. Rotting at the core, living in quiet, but screaming for help, desperation. Why? Because your life sucks. And the reason it sucks, the reason why you're nearing retirement, the reason why you have to just be thankful, I'm just gonna be thankful, I'm just gonna be grateful for this life that sucks. If that is you, and you want to have a life that does not suck, but a life of real meaning and fulfillment, a life where you can make the difference you were born to make, I don't care if you're 50, I don't care if you're 40, 30, 60, it's not too late, but soon it will be if you don't do something about it. And I'm gonna tell you what that is. Life sucks because you have not become the person you, you need to become. Life sucks because you have failed to pay the price early on. Life sucks because you have listened to the voices that cripple and debilitate and that cause people to live in the comfort coma, which is really just death. And it sucks because you have failed to tell the truth. You have been hooked up to the morphine drip of lies 
and rationalization and justification. And now you sit here with someone yelling at you in a podcast. Well, not quite yelling, but let's call it lovingly speaking loud and powerful. Because I care about people. I truly care about people. I see people who are capable of so much play so small. I see people who sit back and watch people on the gram, Instagram, and watch people on social media and try to keep up. They try to make these things. They try to make their life sounds good. And yet behind, they're miserable. I can't tell you how many people are broke, financially broke. But you would think that all is well. Because on the gram and on social media, they are as happy as can be. And every picture looks so good. And there's this cool quote. You see, once you start to tell the truth... Once you start to be real, once you can break out of this rut that people think is normal, they think the rut is normal. They think, well, no, this is just how life is. And I'm going to tell you, this is not how life is. It is for people who are non-powerful, for people who suck. But let me tell you about what life looks like for people who are truthful and real and willing to do what's required. You have peace, you have happiness, you have meaning, and if you want money, you make as much as you want. I just saw the other day on, I believe it was Twitter, someone posted something, and this gentleman was donating $10 million to, I don't know if it was university or the town, I think it was the town. But I clicked on it and I read it, I'm like, here's a man who has done what was required to be able to donate $10 million. Now, I don't know if he's happy in his marriage. All I know is what I see, which is, hey, he has done what was required. Now, here's what's required, and here comes the lesson. Here comes the, the key insight for you. And if you get this, your life will change instantly. Right now, right here, today. Right now, get this. If you want your life to work, your life to give you what you want, a life of power, the one thing that you've got to start doing to do what you said you would do. This is the concept of keeping your word or honoring your word. That's it. Simple. Oh, Satema, that's got to be more than that. There's got to be more hacks and more seven steps and 14 things and 10 modules. No. Keep your word. Stop lying. Stop pretending. Be real. Quit faking. Be authentic. If you cannot keep your word, if you cannot do what you said you would do, you will never, I repeat, never level up. It's amazing to me that eight years ago I was in a bankruptcy. Seven years ago, I was knocking doors. Six years ago, I was knocking doors and in a master's. Five years ago, I was still knocking doors up in Iowa. Four years ago, I launched into the coaching, consulting, training, speaking world. And my life gets better and better every year. I'm like a fine wine. I don't know what a fine wine is like because I don't drink wine. But it's the old saying that I keep seeing. I'm like a fine wine. I age. I get better with age. That's what I saw of someone said about LeBron James. I get better with age. Well, I'll tell you what. You will get better with age if you can keep your word. Go clean up something in your life that you haven't kept. If you say you're going to do something, do it. Be the type of person that can be counted on. Your life sucks because you don't keep your word. You don't do what you say you will do. Most people are liars. They don't keep it. And yet the people who do keep their word who do get up when they said they're going to get up, who do follow through, 
they have power and they live powerful lives. Imagine what your life will look like if you do what you say you will do. That's it. Your life doesn't work because you don't keep your word. That's it. So keep your word, which means commit to less. Stop over committing. Oh, it's so hard. I got to try to I got to try to do better. Don't do that. That's for the weak. Go be strong. The world is served by strong people. Will you keep your word today? And if you can't keep it, go clean it up. Honor it. Go clean it up. Clean it up means, hey, I'm unable to do this. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Can I recommit? Or I am unable to follow through on this, but I'd like to create a new agreement. That's how you do it. You don't need explanations. Oh, I got, oh, I got, oh, well, this is the reason why. And this, blah, 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 blah. No, nah, don't do that. Now, you could tell I'm a little on fire today because people who I work with, who I help, they fail to get this. They fail to get that your life will continue to suck like a vacuum cleaner if you continue to break your word. So go keep your word today. Go do it. Go try it on. I promise your life's going to change. So Tim Mangala here reminding you if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love is going to require you to get into a relentless pursuit with a ruthless commitment to pay the piper every single day so that you can get to the top of your mountains where your prize, your promised land, and every possibility that you've ever wanted is waiting, just waiting for you. The revolution has begun. Will you join us? ProRevLive.com is coming up. Get on it. Let's go. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.YourDailyRevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.